Hi, campers, Bjorklinden. We miss you all so much. Uh, John Harmon here. I, I'm the piano guy and one of the piano guys. And of course I teach the theory thing. And it occurs to me I might be able to give you something to think about even though we can't be at the camp this year, which is breaking everybody's heart, including mine. So it has always occurred to me the most difficult um, situation to, to, to manipulate and use as a tool is the diminished chord, the fully diminished in particular. So that is what I'm going to share with you today. We all know that it's this fully diminished chord is made up of three minor thirds. Each one, there are only three with different notes when you consider that the first one, I'm playing C diminished, then C sharp diminished, then B diminished, all minor thirds. The next one is D sharp or E flat diminished, which is the same exact notes as C diminished. And E is the same as So, my point is, it's a very usable uh, tool in your improvising. So, what you gotta do is, any chords you wanna find your way to, major, minor, dominant, you can go a half step beneath the root of that target and play that diminished chord. So if I wanna get to C, I can play B diminished. Because it has the same tritone as your G7 in F. It also has, it has D and A flat. So there are two, you can see there are multiple places you can go with this. So if I want to get to D, let's say D minor, play a C sharp diminished. Simple. But here's the trick. And even Terrell Stafford has shared um, with some of us. It's his go-to. When he needs something, he goes to it. That's the diminished. So what do you play with the diminished chord? If it's fully diminished, start with the root and you go a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, till you get an octave. So, C diminished. Can you hear the, how it's embracing that? Each this particular diminished mode, if you want to call it that, all the notes of that chord, C diminished, if I drop one, all of them form another diminished chord. I mean, all the notes, they kind of, a little leading tone into each note of the diminished. So, I want to get to E major. D sharp diminished, we'll do it every time. I want to get to G minor, F sharp diminished. It's pretty easy. There's only three of them. And three different modes, so take advantage of that. You want to get to an A flat chord? G diminished, no problem. And that chord, the A flat, could be major, minor, or dominant. Doesn't matter. So it's a little trick that I think every jazz guy kind of knows this and uses it. And if Terrell Stafford, if it's his go to, it's okay with me. So have some fun with that, enjoy it, and hopefully we'll see you next year. Um, I miss you very much, all of you. So, we'll see. We hope to see you next year. Bye now.